today, Jacob. I can only help you if you let me. We need to establish some sort of trust relationship here. It's a safe place, this place. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help. I'm not here to criticize you. So whatever you say to me here, stays here with me. Doctor, patient, condition. What more do you want to know? I want to know how you're feeling. I want to know as much as you can remember. I have told you already. This woman, she follows me everywhere I go. I'm afraid this woman is not real. She is but a visual illusion created by your own mind. Your brain probably presents you with images that your subconscious processes. These are informations that you have no part of control over. And as a result of that, your perception is therefore altered or distorted along the line. This makes you see images and pictures that have been processed in the past without you taking notice of it. English. Sorry? I said speak English. The ability of your brain to separate illusion from reality is narrowing down. Instead of separating distorted thinking from reality, it simply mixes them up in layers and is so cleverly done, so cleverly mixed, so much so that you believe that these images are in fact real. If not checked, I'm sorry, it might get worse and you might get institutionalized. That's not what we want. You need to let me help you, Jacob. You really think that I'm hallucinating, eh? You think I'm mad? No, I'm not. Believe me, everyone else thinks that I'm crazy. But I'm just quite normal like everyone else. I don't think you're crazy, Jacob. You're not crazy. But you must identify a problem to get to the root of it. I know I need help, but no one understands what I'm experiencing right now. You are experiencing both visual and auditory perception without stimulus. Hallucination can be very vivid and substantial to the person that perceives it. But none of it, none of this is real, Jacob. You must understand this in order to deal with it. But why? Huh? Why me? That's the more reason we need to look into a couple of factors. We need to dig deep to get to the root of it. Which is of course going to be a, a very healthy starting point. I know that, don't you? Um, you said all of these started in your dreams and now can manifest in reality. The loss of your mother may have been too difficult for you to deal with. So your subconscious mind created this illusion of a new reality, a female figure, and presents it before you to fill in the void the loss of your mother has created. This could be a way that your subconscious mind is trying to deal with the loss of your mother, Jacob. Are you okay, Jacob? She said. Your fears are not helping, Jacob. Be calm and focus. Focus on what? Huh? This bloody woman, she's following me about. This could be a way that your subconscious mind wants to deal with the situation, Jacob. Since you have no power, no control over it, it begins to see distorted or not well processed images as a threat and then manifest it to your own consciousness in order for you to deal with your fears. If you can do this, we might just have a 
breakthrough. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but you need to put in some effort, Jacob. Jacob, have you been taking your medications regularly? Please, please, don't kill me. Please go, go away. Tell him now. Please, I beg you, leave me alone. Tell him now. I will, I will tell the truth. <gasps> Jacob, what truth? I wasn't talking to you. Mind your own business. Calm down, Jacob, calm down. You need to take a deep breath. Is there something you want to tell me? I killed her. We did. And I am so sorry. I wish it never happened. Killed who, Jacob? Laura. Laura too. I'm so afraid. Please help me. I want to help you. I'm here to help you, Jacob. But you need to calm down and tell me everything you can remember. The truth is the pathway to recovery. You need to tell me what happened. Tell me all that you can remember. No, I don't know where to start from. Shh. I'll tell you the whole truth. Look at that. What? Have a look at this. It's wicked, man. Oh, come on, give it me. No, just have a look. Staring is good enough for you, innit? Just give it me. It's not like I'm gonna eat it, is it? Forget about you always eat it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> concentrate on the fucking road. <laughs> right, yeah, come on, keep down. I'll go concentrate. We'll keep both eyes on the road. You guys need to stop picking on me. Picking on you? Are you having a laugh? Yeah, right. Come on, the last time you had a poor magazine in front of you, yeah? You jerked off and made a proper mess in my fucking car. Oh, I'm not the only one who does a bit of DIY, right? Every sane person does it. Oh, no, 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 right. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Move the fucking car. Can you not see it? It's a girl. Shh. She dead? How do we know you think, cunt? Well, move the car again, we're gonna get in trouble. What are we gonna get in trouble for? We haven't done anything. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, you know what I mean. Shit. Is that what you're thinking? Oh, shut up, guys. Look, let me have a think. Right, we're going out there, check if she's still alive, and then we're gonna call an ambulance. You sure, you wanna do this? Come on, you little chicken. Shut up. We must call an ambulance. An ambulance? Are you mad? If we call an ambulance, we'll be the number one suspects. Are you mad? In fact, if you do, you can count me out. You're on your own. What? But that's not right. She's dying. Shut up. She's gonna die anyway. She's dead, mate. She looks kind of sweet. I wouldn't mind a bit myself. What? What's what? I'm getting my own share, mate. You can stand there and watch, Jay. Jesus, are you both mad? Look who's talking, eh? We all fucked the Warrington girl, didn't we? Yeah, but that was different, guys. That's different from this. What? We need to do this quick. Don't want to get fucked. Don't want no trouble. Look, if you don't want any trouble, then don't do any trouble at all, mate. Screw 
Go! It's Jake! Jacob's one. Shotter. No, I'm not doing this. I can't. I'm not doing this at all. Let's go fuck off from here. She's sweet, man. Really sweet. So you do it now. Do it fast. Come on, don't waste our time. Hurry up, mate. Shut up! I'm not doing this at all! No! Come on, let's go! That's your fucking problem, then. I won't mind nothing, though. Guys, we really need to call an ambulance. She's dying! She might still be alive! Fuck you, Jay! Fuck you and fuck the bitch! You wanna get her screwed up, yeah? No, come, let's get out of here! <sighs> Shit. Enough, let's go. Shit. <sighs> no! What? We need to dispose of the body or should we fuck? She's still alive, guys. She's dead. She's lying for us. She's not doing this. I'm not doing this. She's still alive. You fucked her. You raped her. And you do it your way. Help me out. The canal over there, are you? Might as well just fall around. Jacob, you said in your own words that your friends raped a dying woman. And afterwards, threw her in the canal to die. How does that make you feel, Jacob? I feel so sorry and ashamed of myself. I messed up, Freeman. I fucked up. Help me. Please. If this is all true, have you considered doing the right thing? Have you considered that option of handing yourself in? There is no doubt, Jacob that you are sorry for what you did. But sometimes, the feeling of being sorry cannot replace guilt itself. Even at then, guilt on its own, it's not enough to set things right. But doing the right thing, Jacob, doing the right thing. In your own case, your mind presents your guilt right before you, just in front of you, just at the point where you least have control. Doing the right thing can be a step forward for a breakthrough. Think, think about her family. Think about friends and loved ones. They deserve to know the truth. A body needs to be to be found. She deserves a proper burial. Let's go to police. Well, I have the confession. The May 2013 Laura Tweets case. My friends and I killed her, and I'm so sorry. That was the right thing to do, Jacob. That was the right thing to do. The police will be here at any time. And they're gonna take me. Take me away. I'm ready, Dr. Freeman. I'm ready to pay for my evil act. If I may ask, where are the others? Dead. She killed, she killed them. But she's dead? How could she have killed them? She, she took them one after the other. She's a ghost out for revenge. Chasing everyone who's responsible for her death. So. What makes you think she spared you? She could have killed you as well. I didn't rape her. Martin and Ian did. I didn't dump her in the canal. They did, not me. You said you did not take part raping and dumping Laura in the canal. Did you do anything in particular to stop your friends? I did nothing to stop them. I was a part of it. I was. I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm so ashamed. So, what was the circumstance of their death? Constant.
sleep. Well, I said I can't sleep. The question should be why. Since when? It's been fucked as well. Do you see her too? <laughs> you guys are crazy. Are you are you playing something behind my back? Shut up, Ian. It's fucking raw, will ya? It's that girl in the crash. I see her in my dreams. I see her too. She wants me too. Confess, isn't it? How did you know that? I see her too, yeah. But it's nothing to worry about. Right? She's dead. She's fucking dead. It's just your imagination playing tricks on you. So I'm becoming worried, guys. I think we are being hunted or something. It's driving me crazy because I see her in real life and suddenly she disappears. Shut up, Jim. You shut up, Jim. You never take anything serious. What kind of a person are you? Right, I feel sorry for you guys, yeah? In this day and age, two grown up blokes, yeah? Worried about superstitious shit, yeah? There's no such thing as ghosts and there's no such thing as being haunted, yeah? In fact, next time I see her, I'm gonna fuck her. She loved it when she was there dying, yeah? And now she's coming back for more. See, my intention that day was to help. And you guys... You guys what? What that bullshit? Look, I came here to have a good time, not to be blamed for your problems. I've got my own shit to take care of. Hey, come on, Ian. No, I'm not. Come on, Ian. Come back, let's just chill, yeah? I came here to have a good time. And you two, she's just obviously want me around. Oh, come on, don't say that, Ian. Come on, Ian, let's just chill, yeah? Ah, oh, fair enough, but no more scary movie shit. Scary? Why are you scared? No. No. Shut up. I need a beer. We'll get the next round, yeah? Yeah. I had a good time, lads. Just, well, aside from the scary shit. Oh, it's not a start, please. Oh, by the way, Ian, would you mind giving me a lift home? Yeah, sure, no problem. You live in your car, are you? Yeah, never mind. I'll just pick it up tomorrow. Oh, what are you scared of? Why well, not your license as usual? Yeah, come on, guys. You know I've drunk way past my limit. Limit my ass. Alright, come on, then. Let's just be, get out of here. See you later. See you later, mate. She's Calm here, down. Look at her. Get off me. What's the matter with you? You're dead. Shit. Just go. What? Leave me alone. Get off me. Hey, Martin. It's blood everywhere. Please, come quick. Please, please. just come quick, please. Just come quick.
fucked. Tell me about it. I'm so, so scared, man. It's like, I'm so scared that I believe. That girl is hunting us. What do you think what happened to Martin? It was an accident. Come on, man. I'm so confused. I can't believe he's dead. He's gone forever. Yeah. I think we are being hunted one after the other. It's gonna be one of us next, eh? I know it. So what are we doing now? No! No! Fucking no! Right, I'm... I'm not being hunted! Just can't get that bitch out of my head. Look, Ian, calm down. I'm sure there must be a way out. Way out? Don't really know about that. Should have listened to you that day, but... Should have listened to you. I know this African woman who, who kind of communes with the dead, and she, she'll she'll talk to her for us. Just just try to remain calm, all right? Yeah, you've always been a sensible one. Okay, I'll call you in the morning. All right, see you later. Can you actually think about anyone else who perhaps have been left out of the story? Probably someone who's been a threat to you or your late friend. I have already told you everything. You don't believe me, do you? Or you think I'm crazy or something, huh? Jacob, you need to understand that the legal system has no room for superstition. You need to understand that. You see, all the death so closely connected so you may be considered a suspect you need to get prepared for that hey why don't you just kill me like what you did to others huh why don't you just kill me this is torture and i can't stand this anymore hello rob rob yeah okay the police. Send them in. Right, thanks. Okay. 
you hear? Yes. Look at this. The hair. It's a great thing you've done, Jake. And I promise you, I'm going to keep up with the therapy. Make sure um, I keep the therapy on going. Is that what you're going to do to me? We're going to leave the police to do their job. Like I said, I promise you, I'm going to make the therapy ongoing. Like I said, I'm here to help. I will help you. But you don't 